John Joho is chef owner of both the Fancy Everest and Brasserie Joe in downtown Chicago. He is a James Beard Award winner as Best Chef Midwest, and Brasserie Joe was awarded Best New Restaurant in 1996. You will notice with the entree, Chef Joho taps his French roots. Here is beef tenderloin, Porto Feu style. Tenderloin of Porto Feu. What do you want to use here? is the most vegetable would you find on the market with seasonal. Especially because you have lots of root vegetable. Like here I have some rutabaga, I have some celery roots, I have some fennels, I have some wonderful leeks, I have some carrots, some baby bok choy. Just different Brussels sprouts for the season right now. Just to use anything what you can, but the fresh is just, just the fresh what you can. When you have around six kind, you use six. When you have ten, you use ten. Just use what is available. Vegetable prep includes peeling the asparagus the carrots. It's a wonderful little baby bok choy. I'm using what I use. I point a hole, this way they cook, they cook much more regularly. Next leek. Same, try to bite some, always some young, nice leek, fresh. Cut some small stick, the same size. Some fennel here. Do the same. I always cut, like to cook it whole, and then I will cut it in half when the piece is too big. We have some Brussels sprout, the same. Always insert. This is where they cook much more evenly, where the inside are always more harder as the outside. So, we have rutabaga left, celery root, and potato. The rutabaga is peeled, sliced, then cut into sticks. Then the celery root is peeled. Same way. Very important when you make celery. I always like to paint with lemon. This way is the oxidation is not happening and stays nice and white. So you can keep it easy for around the half an hour at a time as you do everything. Same way here. This careful, almost reverent preparation of vegetables is archetypal of the French. Now the potatoes. What I will do here. What we do is just make a, a tuna potato. Tuna, what means in French, rounded. What we have here, we will blanch this first in warm cooking hot salted water. Add the salt. The more easy, I just use the little chest inside here. And what takes the longest, I always make first. It's been right now, potato, wait a little bit. My rutabaga, my celery, then the leek, carrots, fennel, and I used to blanch my Asparagus, my baby bok choy. I'm adding here the rest of the Brussels sprouts. And I'm blanching everything really well for a couple of minutes. At the same time, here I have a beef stock. 
reducing a little bit, really flavorful beef stock. And what are we adding here? It's a marrow bones who are kept overnight in ice water. The reason why I wonder is the whole blood and everything comes out. And I want to take this marrow bones here and I will simmer this around for 25 minutes. It's cooked. Remove the nice water. Same with my vegetable. Put everything nice, nicely done. That's everything my blonde vegetable. Carrots, Brussels sprouts, fennel. What I do with the potato, I will cook my potato with the marrow here. We're simmering. This way you have a nice flavoring for the marrow which is going in the potato. The leek. A condiment used for the dish is horseradish cream. Some fresh horseradish is grated. Whipped cream is in the bowl. By the fresh horseradish, it's much, it's much, much better. As the commercial one, the finished one, what you have. Season, salt, pepper, and some chive. We mix very really well together. The vegetables are cooked in the beef broth, and the beef tenderloin is seasoned. Salt or pepper. Set aside. And you cook this with your vegetables. Approximately around for five, six minutes. It depends what you want, medium, rare, or well done. A good trick, as you know, as everything cooks, I give you a little trick. When you take your hand, you're pushing here, this is rare. When you touch your finger here, it's medium. When you, talk, when you touch it here, it's well done. Take it out of the skin from your hand, that's the best way to find out. Rare, medium, well done. Use this as a tip, always works. The vegetables and beef are arranged on a platter and go back onto the stove. What you want to do, want to add a bit stock. Hot tenderloin, a horseradish cream, and also we made a whole selection of condiments. We'll be having with that something I always have fun with. I always like to serve some marrow bones, where this is how you eat your marrows. You can go inside. You can have a marrow spoons on the side. On here is the potato. 